Hey guys. So I'm heading out to the cabin again. I spent a little while in town. And now I'm gonna head back out and hopefully get some more work done on the new cabin and see what's going on out there. It is currently minus 12 Celsius. It's amazing how little snow we have out here. Normally by now we should have about double what we have. It's been a strange winter so far. I'm about a hundred and 15 kilometers into my trip so far. I still have about 60 kilometers to go until I'm where I park at the bottom of the mountain I have my cabin on. It's uh, around 175 kilometers from town. This is a logging road that they keep uh, really well plowed. And it's, it's a nice road now and they keep it grooved so you got traction. So winter time is usually the best to drive out here. The roads are a lot smoother than when they are during the summer. From the time I leave town, it's about two and a half hour drive. I'm gonna bring the camera along on my trip up to the cabin. I'll show you what I do every time I come out here. Once I park where I can't drive any further, then I have to walk just under two kilometers up to the cabin, and then I can get my snowmobile and come down with my skimmer and load up and start bringing trips up the hill. I'm about 20 kilometers from the bottom of my mountain. I've been driving for just over two hours. It's about a, if the road's good, it's a two and a half hour drive from town out to my cabin. The farther I come out this road, the worse it gets so I have to slow it down a bit now. It's gonna be a cold walk up to the cabin but I should warm up once I start climbing the hill. The first thing I do when I get up to the cabin before I get this skidoo and fire it up I go in and start a fire and that way while I'm hauling all my gear and supplies up it can be warming up the cabin because it's probably going to be minus 10 inside since it's been empty for a bit. All right, I finally made it out here where I parked my vehicle. So now it's just I, the last hike, it's about uh, two kilometers up to the cabin, so I'm on foot for the rest of the way. I'm gonna head up to the cabin and then get a fire going, and then get the skidoo started up and come down and grab all my stuff with a skimmer. It's minus 14 right now, and the sun is about to go down behind the mountain, so the temperature's gonna drop pretty fast. It's unreal how little snow we have up here. I'm almost 
it's there. It's nothing like hiking up a mountain when it's a minus 14 out. It's always a good feeling when you see the cabin. And there it is. I need to get a fire started quick. The cabin takes usually four or five hours to get it up to 20 Celsius inside when it's sat empty. So if I can get a fire started pretty quickly, it should be warm by the time I want to go to sleep. Sun is just setting. It's supposed to be minus 24 tonight. So as soon as that sun's behind the mountain, it's gonna drop. quickly rip down to my vehicle and load up the skimmer. It's usually two to three trips filling this. All right, let's go grab it. So it's usually a couple hour ordeal getting all my stuff up. It's good when I can get it up to the cabin before it's dark. That way I don't lose anything on the way up. I should be able to do it in three, or actually two loads should do.
it in my second load, but hopefully that all stays in there. For those that are wondering, if you saw me fix my snowmobile light in a couple videos ago and now it's not working, well, it worked for a bit and then it stopped working. So it looks like it's my voltage regulator. I tested it and it was getting 25 volts. So it doesn't look like the voltage regulator is working properly. So I've ordered that part. So hopefully I'll have the light back on soon. So it took me two trips in the skidoo with the skimmer to get all my supplies up here. And I got in right as it was getting dark. So I just wanted to make this short video to show everyone how I get up here. It's a bit of an ordeal in winter time. It would be nice if I could drive my vehicle right up here to the cabin like I can in summer but having such a long driveway that's not plowed kind of makes it impossible. So it's only six degrees in here, six Celsius. So it should be probably by 10 o'clock tonight I should have it around like 16 Celsius in here. So it's going to be a cold night. That's, I always try and get out here as early as possible in winter because it takes a while. Even though this is a small cabin with the big lofted ceilings, it takes a while for the heat to warm up or the fireplace to warm up this cabin. So I probably won't be going to bed too early today until it gets to 20 degrees in here and is a little comfortable. Until then, I'll be keeping my jacket on while I'm inside. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this short video, and I'll see you on the next one.